This program is sponsored by Beth's Gold Coin. Join us for good food, fun, and hospitality. Beth's Gold Coin, family-friendly restaurant and sports tavern. Planning department. It's made in front of the board of supervisors, and the planner comes in and says, "Well, it says this here, but it says here this here. Now I can interpret that to do this, or I can interpret that to do this. What do you think we ought to do?" And it's your job to say, "Oh, me, policymaker. I think that we ought to interpret this to give people the maximum ability to do things in Mariposa County Liberty. that do not that do not liberty that do not." hurt our neighbors, do not cause environmental disaster, do not create health and safety hazards, right? Yeah. That's what we should do. We shouldn't be regulating things because it generates more fee revenue for county staff and makes it easier for us to balance the budget on a few things. We don't do things because we have more people than we have tasks. Uh, efficiency in government has been working overtime with technology. Yeah, and, but we're getting off the see, point here. Yeah, but what I'm saying here is that uh, there's there way can't there, be, there, there, there can't be there, ambiguity in the document. Well, there if, is now, but you can take hold of that ambiguity, and you, as a supervisor, can interpret that. To the to the interest of the community, uh, the, uh, to the benefit of our community. I can, but what if my decision is wrong? Well, well, what it, if the planning department's decision is wrong? Yeah, but it doesn't make any difference if their decision's wrong. I am the ultimate arbiter of that decision. Right, and you're the one that's ultimately accountable to me as a as a as a, a, a yeah, voter in this that's district. Right. That planning department staff person isn't. Right. Okay, so that's how the process should work. Should work. I agree that we need to take the ambiguity. Yeah, but look, look what we happened need, with the mining issue. I, I, I'm looking at that. I'm saying that, well, <laughs> you were on the losing end of a 3-2 vote. No, it was a 3-1 because I had to recuse myself. Okay. Well, the process can work so that staff brings those arbitrary calls to you. And I used to do it with policy documents. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, we have, we're 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 faced with a call here. I'm the planning staff coming to you as a member of the board of supervisors. I have a I have a call to make here, and I think you know that's your job to make these policy calls, not mine. Yeah, that's right. Okay. And if I if I inter it says right here this, but it also says this here. Now if I interpret it this way, you're going to get this. But if I interpret it this way, you're going to get that. Now, I think this is probably a better fit for Mariposa County, but, but ultimately, that's, not, that's, it's that's your not, decision. That's yeah, really not my job to make that decision. You guys are elected. You get paid big wages to do this, and so I want you to make that decision. And that's fine. If, if, there's, is, if there's an issue that is not clear in the general plan, we should make that decision because we but ultimately are a, responsible it's a, it's a, for that. It's a board director. Yeah. And, and but and I would rather, again, I would rather have a document that doesn't have that ambiguity in it. I agree. But we don't have two or three years. Would it take five years to get this last general plan update done? We're not doing a complete update, though, Bob. Well, you are going to be doing a complete update, believe me. This process opens the door to the whole process. So you're going to be doing an update. And that process can go sideways. There are simple facts, processes that you can implement, codes that can be amended. Now let's do that. So yeah. how do we do it? What's the process? You, as a member of the Board of Supervisors, suggest to your peers that you have a meeting with planning staff to identify issues that you think need to be clarified. Now, the big one for me, as Condition. a business person, is, a, is, is the over-reliance on the CUP yes. in every zoning code that we have. Anytime somebody wants to do something, we turn it into a public free-for-all. It becomes a, a political process. Political process. Yeah. And in traditional planning, in traditional zoning, you have things you can do and things you can't do. Yes. And things that we're not sure about, but we we will require a CUP for it, a conditional use permit. Yeah, but Those middle middle areas, 
is where we've taken up everything. Right, we've turned the it turned it all into a conditional so the, use permit and, process. and turned it into every time somebody wants to do something in Mariposa yeah. County, it's a political football. Yeah, and uh, and that's not the way it should be. It, so it, in in light of the fact that you haven't made policy decision on in the general plan, it's time for you guys to bite the bullet and make it with respect to amending your zoning codes to deal with certain things that that you think should happen. Well, and the other thing is, is I think but the process the needs to be done here. You can't have a consultant come from outside who doesn't understand Mariposa, that isn't going out there and having coffee and donuts with the people, <laughs> and actually talking to them about the process and what the community wants, as opposed to what somebody in uh, Timbuktu, who is a, is a consultant on this, is thinking Mariposa needs. And you don't have and, a, and you don't have a planning director from Santa Cruz whose progressive ideas about planning don't fit. Santa Cruz doesn't fit Mariposa. I'm sorry, no, it does It's a little different politics there. I agree with that. But the other side of this one is that um, the the process is a checks and balances thing. It's a growing process, and you can make incremental decisions and get some feedback. Well, yeah, that didn't work. You know, or yes, it worked really well, and we should do more of that. You know, it's, it's, it, it, it can be done that way while, while you're going through the process of doing a comprehensive update that could take years. Hopefully, you aren't going to spend $5 million doing it. <laughs> but, uh, but could take, and, and, and regard about that $5 million, I'm going to tell you how many change orders did you have in that general plan? Did you ever look at the original contract for that general plan? No, I didn't. Well, first off, it was for a whole lot less money than ultimately got charged to do it. Uh, there are some people that use this process and use the public process, the political process, to jack up their paychecks. Yeah. And we do it with change orders. I see it all the time with, with construction projects. Right. And, and, and if anybody's ever managed a construction project, you know the devil's in the change orders. Yeah, but the, 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 you can't have a change order unless somebody agrees to it. So what's happening is it's being driven, it's actually being driven by people within the process. And the administrator. In, in, the, the administrator of it uh, is, is saying, well, this is what we really want, but we have to pay this much more to have it done. And the it was crazy. It was crazy how much that uh, time and effort went into that general plan. Well, and it's so, it's so ambiguous. And uh, it was it was it was not well managed, and and the process can be well managed, uh, the update process. But you got to understand when you have a guy who's getting a paycheck for spending hours on something, yes. he's going to spend a lot of hours doing it. Yeah. Uh, you know, uh, in the construction industry, you talk about time and materials contracts. You know what that is, right? Yeah, that's somebody who that's is circumventing the process. <laughs> Time and materials means, oh boy, have I found a chump. Yeah. And uh, anyway, uh, Walt wants us to wrap it up. He does? Yeah. Okay. And, and, and uh, he says we've been talking too much. I you thought know, that's what we were supposed to do. Too much? Talk. Oh, well, they'll talk. <laughs> you know, uh, there's more to this, and I think we ought to take it up from time to time. Uh, there's other important things I'd like to talk about sometime soon. You know, what happened over the Butterfly Weekend is I think probably one of the, a landmark in terms of the evolution of our community with respect to promotion, to uh, community service, to uh, just actually getting out there and, and being a hospitalitarian with the people who visit our community. And I'd like to take this up in a future conversation. Uh, Bob and Marshall, can we talk about that? Oh, sure. Yep. You're so easy. <laughs> Marshall, thank you very much. Thank you, folks. Have a good, have a good one. We'll see you on Facebook. <laughs> <laughs>